uh, let me start with where my notes began. And literally I wrote one word at the very top of the page, and it is Ryu. Ryu from Street Fighter is now in Smash Brothers. I've already downloaded it and bought it. They took my money and ran. Uh, is, that, is that already out? It's already out. It's I, I played it today. That's cool. How is it? Uh, he is awesome. I love that you can play him like a regular Street, or I'm sorry, like a regular Smash Brothers character, but if you do his three signature moves with the tr original commands, they do more damage. Interesting. So like the Hadouken does more damage, yeah. the Shuriuken does more, like they all do more damage, which is super cool. They do, and there are different variations of the move. So he's got like a bigger comboing move set. So I can see people getting insane with him and like comboing forever. I think that's awesome. Uh, I think it's awesome that they brought back Roy. I know people loved him. I could care less, but they brought back Roy and they brought back Lucas. So they brought back someone from Melee Brawl and they brought a new character in. Uh, and they're playable right now. That's awesome. So what do you think the roster is at right now? How many characters? Yeah. Uh, it's like 50 plus, probably like 54. Wow. That grew pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so, so that's awesome. That's super cool news. I would have never expected Ryu to be in there. I know there were rumors about it, but that was a huge thing for me. On to Bethesda's good old stuff. I think the standout things for me are Doom looked okay. I, yeah, it's interesting, but Snap Map was the most interesting thing about Doom for me. Being able to make your own, uh, maps with game logic that seemed like people will just run with that. That's, I mean, that's how we got the whole MOBA genre. That's how we got Dota's. Uh, yeah, I, I'm curious to see what the community does with that. I mean, just like they did with the, the For, Reach Forge and other things uh, along that line. Yeah, I was, in, I was enjoying it. And then the minute they pulled out that chainsaw, just started going to town. Oh, you God. could see the... Um, like the bad guys would uh, try to block with their hands and yeah. stuff, but it would just tear right through it. Yeah. Like it, it was just, it was fun to watch. I, I mean, you know, my stream was kind of messy, but mm -hmm. I imagine if I was seeing it firsthand, it probably looks really sick. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, look, I'm intrigued. I, I just want to see more. Like I said, the snap map I mean, would stand out for me. I mean, but how much doom did you play growing up? You know, uh, like, I mean, I, I, played, I, I played a fair amount. Yeah. I, I didn't, like too much you yeah. know i played a bunch here and there but not enough to freak out too much but the graphics look sick and i'm sure there's a lot more to it yeah definitely um and then uh i think outside of that it was just uh fallout 4 and then what was in between uh there was some like they had the fallout shelter ip or ipad game oh, that yeah. was out. That, i've, I've been cool... playing that it's, it's pretty fun is it um yeah, you eventually, I don't know if I'm managing it right, but you eventually run out of bottle caps, and then you kind of have to, like, wait around and then hop back on here and there. Oh, okay. But it's, it's a fun little game. I think you should try it out. Okay. You have an iPad or the phone lying around. Yeah, I'll definitely need to check it out. Um, so I think this is the big nerd, nerd one for everyone, the uh, real-life Pit boy that comes with the collector's edition and then the, the app that lets you control your inventory uh, from the second screen. Yeah. That, that's just like a fun like call to the community that's great um yeah i i probably won't get the pit boy itself but i will probably use the app and check it out i mean the way the app works in destiny is i, I expect it to be very similar being able to throw weapons between characters and tweaking it on the fly while i'm in loading screens expect a very similar thing here for fallout so you know let's let's be honest i didn't expect that game to be as in depth as it was no i mean like how they're breaking down the guns and stuff. I didn't see that coming. And then there's the breaking down your uh, your suit, your power suit. Yep. Was absolutely insane. Like, I just saw myself sitting there thinking I was going to play it for the entire month. I, yeah, so I, I got a little... My life fall apart. I got a little nervous because I'm like, I don't feel... I feel like I'm going to play this game, and I'm going to invest, you know, maybe 80 hours. And that's going to be, like, a small amount compared to the rest of people who are, like dedicating like years into this game building five civilizations six civilizations and like linking them all together with the routes and all that mumbo jumbo well you remember like the first time we all played fallout 3 and stuff like oh, yeah. we were just glued stayed up all night just kept playing it like i was just totally immersed into it 
Yeah. Um, the, the one thing I will say is there was some more footage during, I think, the Microsoft conference. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, which looks like they're going to cater to Microsoft a little bit more on that, which is okay. But I'll, I'll probably play it on PC in the end. Yeah, that's probably um, so. But uh, the, the voice, like the, the movement of the mouths looked really messed up. Yeah, and again, it, it's still it's still got a we got several months. It, it, so they gave us a launch date of eleven ten. Right, and that'll so, stick. Yeah, I, so I mean, but again, I, I like the conversation lines that happened. It felt very tail tail or tall tail. Sure. Well, wait. I, mean, I, right? I imagine they're just sticking to the original stuff. That well, but it felt more cinematic, and your characters talking and stuff, which is different. But sure. Uh, but yeah, it looked good. I mean, it's people are going to be happy with that. It'll probably steal most people's game of the show just because it's Fallout. Right. Uh, yeah, but I, let's let's talk about Microsoft's real quick. Um, and overall, I think they had a really strong. Ah, oh, come on. I mean, what? So the Gears of War. Well, oh, so they had Tomb Raider, and either you're a fan of that or you're not. I mean, I enjoyed it. I played the entire game of the first one. Tomb Raider, just, I could care. It was I, just Uncharted. Well, yeah, it, it's it's basically they're Uncharted, which is fine. Right. Um, but uh, outside of Halo, there was just the Gears of War HD remake. And, and they showed they Gears showed 4. The news Gears 4, and like the main character looked retarded. I, if that was the main character, we don't know. Yeah, he was a little he was a little <laughs> questionable like to me. Nothing about him. Um, it, it didn't tell me a lot about the the, the show or the movie sure. or whatever it is. Uh, I here's the thing. After finishing the conference, I, I was like, wow, that was I was like, God, that was a pretty solid conference, right? Now hindsight's always better, but I, I, off the high of the show, I, I felt pretty good. But then I started thinking about it, right? So they also announced backwards compatibility, and. I'm kind of like now. Th now I've had a few hours to think about it. I'm scratching my head and like, why does this matter? This is w worthless to me. Yeah, at this point, I don't care. I, this is a a launch thing, and then it goes away. And it's got it's another point I think that I need to make, and I'm just going to go on a tiny little rant. We need to kill the old systems. Next gen is here. It is current gen. It is current gen. Stop making games. For the old systems. No one cares. They're literally holding us back from innovation. Well, let's be honest here. They introduced that, and then they said they're going to slowly roll out games to be compatible with it, and then that, that won't even launch until December. Yeah. So, like, you've got a whole new line of games coming up behind that. I, to that point, no one will really care, and if they still care, they'll have their old systems. Right. Still. They're going to hold on so, to them. It's kind of interesting what they're trying to do there. It, it was kind of cool how you can put it in your old discs and it'll download it. Right. But I'm sure there's a lot more to it. Yeah, so that seems weird to me. Um, all right, let's talk about it. So they announced the new controller, and I was pumped for it until I saw the price tag. $150 for this controller. $150 for customizable joysticks and triggers and extra back panels. Like, I'm sorry, but Microsoft, you got to sell me a console before you can sell me a $150 controller. Like flat out it, it, sure. it, it's mind blowing to me now granted with this $150 tag if it doesn't include the thing for because they said for Xbox One or PC if it does not include the little dongle that I need to play on my PC this is insanely overpriced I, I'll just wait till this thing's like $50 and more on the Xbox well, too let's, let's also mention that even with the backwards compatibility on that Xbox there's still no easy way to upgrade your hard drive. So oh. we're all kind of stuck. Like my 500 gigs is like already practically full. No. And if you're telling me yeah. I want to download older games onto it, that's then that's point. never going to happen unless they, you know, make external hard drives compatible with it or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, the one the one new IP that they showed that I was interested in was ReCore. Uh, we didn't see any gameplay, but it's from the guys who made Castlevania and Mega Man, I think. So it looked cool. The idea of uh, you're basically your buddy companion can be clicked into all these different robot bodies, you know, a dog or a mech or a floating UFO squid thing. Looks cool. Yeah. I, it intrigued me. Um, is for, that, for, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it, my, I was going to say is like, is that a bad thing when the new IP is the most intriguing thing and interests me in buying an Xbox? 
Yeah. Well, yeah. well, let's uh, for a second there. I thought it was going to be Beyond Good and Evil too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just had some sort of vibe, but outside of that, um, you know, Rare's new game, the pirate theme. Oh game, yes, okay. That was sick. I mean, yes, I didn't write that one down. I was interested with that one because you get your own pirate ship. And it looks like you can just hop on and discover stuff. And Good point. The, comp, the combat looked really sick. So. Yeah, that one that one intrigued me a bit. Um, they showed like the Hololens and stuff, and I didn't. It didn't really speak to me. Uh, that, it was fun to watch. It looked amazing, but it, it looked cool. I'm, yeah, I'm trying not to get on the hype train when it comes to yeah, to that kind of stuff. Uh, the one thing that I was intrigued by with Halo was the the War Zone. Is that what's called? The 24 person map multiplayer maps. That looked that looked cool. It looked like it was. It kind of drew from. Uh, Titanfall in that sense where there are a bunch of AI things that you can kill as well as other players um, and so also kind of pull from Dota. Was that the Dota. case or was that, well, no, what what it looked like was the the mode from ODST where you would play against the AI? Oh, it, maybe that was it but it, from what I understood, it was that it's that mode combined with big team battle. Okay, but there's going to be AI in the environment too? Yes. And the so so the the goal is to get a thousand points. So you can kill people, you can kill AI computers, and they said AI. I'm air quoting here bosses. And uh, yeah, so there's like. So it's twenty four versus twenty four with AI. No, no, middle? I think it's twelve versus okay. twelve. Twelve versus okay. twelve. With the A AI running around the map as well. Okay. So it, it sounds interesting. Again, it sounds like very much like it's drawing from the ODST firefight and Titanfalls, uh, killing the AI units as well as PvP. And yeah, it sounds interesting. I, I want to see more. I just saw a trailer. Um, and is that that exciting me about the system? But again, I don't own one, so you need to sell me on it. And you made me a little angry about this $150 controller for customizing that's, options. That's something you'll probably never use. Unless you're like super into that stuff, which have you been asking for something like that? No, but no, the so. idea of you know I used my old Xbox 360 controllers for my PC, some of my PC games, and it would be nice to upgrade to the newer one and get that headphone jack and things. But I'll wait. Yeah, you just need to hop on the uh, Xbox uh, party here. It's 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 about that time. <sighs> yeah, we'll, I was we'll uh, I was expecting some Titanfall too, to be honest. Yeah, we at least a teaser that. trailer. Yeah. Um. So speaking of Titanfall, we didn't even see yeah, it at EA. Over to uh, EA there. So we got a big teaser of Mass Effect Four. Um, yeah, I or, well, I guess I don't know if it's Mass Effect Four, but it was Mass Effect, the new one. So that looked um, interesting. I was actually more sold on Unravel. I think that that seemed super intriguing to me. It was a cute, cuddly little game. It almost kind of inspired from... Wait, with the... the <laughs> Yeah. The guy who hosted that thing was totally weird. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, he, I think... he definitely had stage fright. I, you you yeah, could see shaking, him shaking. Man. Um, but that game seemed interesting to me with this idea of that your life is as long as the rope, like the yarn guy. So it sounds like you could run out of rope and that would be like the end of the game, right? Which... Yeah. You know, it sounded like there was sometimes you had to backtrack to go to other locations. So I, I just imagined this, like, giant spider web, and then at the end, like, that's your, like, web that you made. And then, like, people are sharing their webs. It's like, oh, I went this way. And no, it may not. The game may not be like that, but that's kind of the, the vibe I got from it. And it could be really cool, like, oh, the fastest track to beating the game type of thing. There could be speed runs. But it also seems like one of those games, like, Journey, like, there's a deep message behind it and, and it's an experience so it it, uh, it caught my attention there's something new but um yeah it's kind of funny to see ea kind of pick up an indie yeah a couple of indie games definitely uh so i mean the flavor of the month is collectible card games we saw galaxy yeah, of that. heroes the star wars collectible card game uh so yeah morrowind oblivion one there was the Morrowind Oblivion one as well, so oh yeah, that was that was from um, Bethesda as well. The Mirror's Edge no loadings, ultimate free run open experience sounds yeah, I, awesome. That's I what the like first one should have been. The theme it looks like there was a lot of open world games. Yeah, definitely. So that was that was something. I yeah. guess the industry's just going that way. Well, with more more power comes 
that you know bigger abilities, right? Exactly. Um, Star Wars Battlefront. You can go first person or third person. The game looked good. Yeah, I thought the the footage from the Sony press conference looked a lot better than the footage I, from the EA conference. I agree. I like that footage from the Sony conference looked like it was live action footage. It looked almost too real. Do you agree or am I out on a limb here? No, it it looked it looked really real. I kind of had to look at it twice. Uh, yeah, and I was through a stream, so I can only imagine that it looks even better if I was directly there. Yeah, that was something. Um, that that was mind blowing. So I, I'm excited about that game. I, I need to I need to see more. Like uh, we were talking off off mic about, what is there going to be enough variety to keep us coming back? So we'll see. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the general Akbar uh, appearance in the Sony press conference was pretty epic. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, let's. I mean, let's jump on. We'll, we'll we'll get back to that once we talk about Sony. But uh, sure, we got the good old Ubisoft in between. Uh, South Park's new game, awesome. Sweet. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. I didn't think they had enough time to make a new one. Yeah, but I they had all the assets, talked about so that. they decided to go ahead and go for it. Well, I love that they're even changing it to superheroes this time. So that's you know got a whole other realm of things. Uh, I was interested in For Honor. That one-on-one type of like melee combat seems really interesting. I feel like it's going to be one of those heavily skill-based games where you just like if you become like the best swordsman, people are going to know you and fear you. It it looks cool. Yeah, I mentioned it in my post. It kind of looked like a mix between like Dynasty Warriors and Chivalry. Yes, great. A, That's a great mashup. Yeah, so the, I, I imagine Ubisoft can pull it off. They yeah. just—they seem to have so much on their plate. I can't. Very big studio. It's, it's interesting to see how big Ubisoft has grown. I know. So speaking of that, we saw the division once again. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm concerned about this game. Yeah, I'm starting to lose interest. I was, I, I was totally sold, and now I'm just kind of like, uh, we'll see what happens. It looks like a Destiny type uh, layout. It looks like a little bit of Destiny. It definitely looks like some other things, but I'm gonna tell you. If you're trying to sell me on a game, do not show me the part where I I can get like screwed over and lose all my loot if one of my friends decides he's jealous of the hand <laughs> scope I got. Yeah, it adds that um, uh, um, what do you call it, the Daisy type of style to it. I just I here's but that's fine. Like it can be in there. I understand that that's not the whole world. It's just these dead zones, as as they've called them. I don't like that, though, because it, this is it, this is just builds the world of like ninja looting and uh, friendship ending content. It doesn't sound fun now. They're like, oh, it won't be like super frustrating, but it's like, yeah, it sounds super frustrating. If I go into this area that's threatening to offer the best loot, I'm gonna be mad if someone backsteps. I mean, like building a clan and building that trust is going to be exhausting, and. I don't know if there's going to be enough depth in this game to de- warrant the dedication it would need to build those type of alliances. Yeah, and then they, it was interesting to see like the enemy units. Yeah, they were trying to like define them. Like some had flamethrowers and, and whatnot. Right. So I'm trying. I'm interested to see if they're going to have like actual like, you know, different style units like mutant type people or whatever. Yeah, or we, if it's we all just going to be other humans. I'm I'm interested. I'm very interested in, in the game, um, but I, I'm losing. I'm quickly losing interest. They got to show me something different soon. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, um, you had the Rainbow Six, which I don't know. I'm kind of like okay now. I, yeah, I was they blown away it. initially last year, but I. And then the, the Xbox version, like they have to bundle it with Rainbow Vegas One and Two. It's kind of weird. It's weird. I don't think I played either one of those games. I don't think yeah, I really I, cared about them. No, they were good if you got into them back in the day, didn't you? Which ones did you? Play? Oh, I did. I did. You're right. I think I did. You I didn't play, play Vegas too. Yeah. Maybe it was Vegas. I I don't know. I I played them. I just I, yeah. I don't know. I I'm okay. It just looks like too much cooperation. Yeah. I I mean uh, another Assassin's yeah. Creed. Yeah. It, it, I mean cool idea with the destructible environments and stuff, but yeah. We'll see. I'm okay. Um, 
I just I have a feeling that it'll be like okay, you know this wall's destructible, and then it's like once you learn the maps, you just know where to break things and sneak through yeah. it like a like a, a mouse. I could see that. Um, AC, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, hey, another one. I have stopped caring. I think at Brotherhood. Yeah, until they hop to like World War Two or World War One or something. That's when I'll like care again. Yeah, I mean they're like they're jumping it forward, but. Uh... <coughs> Yeah, but they slow. They're slowly doing it. They need a big change. Yeah, I. I I'll tell soon. you what will bring me back. You give me a future. Give me a future one, or like you said, like a, a World War One or Two one would be super interesting as well. I, but I'd like to see a future Assassin's Creed. What's it look like, beyond, the past? Right, and by the time they do that, no one's gonna care. Yeah, well, and we are, might already be there. Uh, the kind of like a. It's not a new IP, but they revealed the new Ghost Recon, which is basically an open sandbox, run around, tackle missions however you want, shoot people. It it honestly looked really good outside of the big drug premise, but... Yeah. Um, here's the sad thing is, I want... This, this game looks like what The Division should be. It, I was going to say, I was like, why are they taking all their time figuring this shit out when they should put that into the division? Yeah, it's almost like, okay, the division's in the city and the ghosts are in the, you know, the wilderness. Right. Uh, it's, it was weird. It, it looked cool. I'm, ex I'm interested to learn more, but it's just like, why are you launching that when you've got the division that could leverage this? With, you know, like, that would have been an awesome reveal. It's like, you know, the... Division guys are like chasing somebody, or they're running out of the city, and boom! It's like, by the way, it's not just the city; it's the like, wilderness. At this point, you know, if I'm gonna grab three of my friends and either pick between the division or that Ghost Recon game, Ghost Recon. Like, I'm kind of more interested in the Ghost Recon game at yeah. this moment. It looks more massive. It looks more, more. It looks terrain. clean. It looks like it yeah. has good direction. You know, that's just kind of where I'm going with that. I agree. Or you could be like me and grab two buddies, and you can go play some Destiny. Yes, yes, the Destiny was at full force Yeah, uh, on the Sony conference, which we can jump to. Yeah, let's jump to Sony. So, obviously, you started off with a bang. The last Guardian! It's here! It didn't yes, look I'd... super beautiful, but it looked good. It looked acceptable enough for me to play. Yeah, I thought they'd have a little bit more to show, but it is what it is. It, hey, at least it was running. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really get mad that the... Uh, there's more to come, I'm sure. Yes, more to come on that. Um, Gorilla showed their new IP, uh, Horizon, which looks like if uh, Skynet happened and also the Terminators were dinosaurs and not human. No, way. robots. <laughs> well, I think there was there were some units on top of those dinosaurs. Oh, there was? Yeah, I saw some, some type of units. Oh. And... Uh, it, it's interesting. I, I, I could get into it. Um, I could see her, like, upgrading over the course of the game to actually having, like, full-fledged weapons. Yeah. Or, you know, like, like guns and stuff. We didn't, did we get a release date for that? Or anything? No, hell no. None okay. of this has come until, like... So I'll tell you this. I'll tell you what I'd like to see. I'd like to see the game... Um, the single player is fine, but I think this is a great opportunity to have, like, a cool co-op experience. Like, cut out multiplayer. In the sense of like competitive, give me a co-op experience where I can go tackle giant mechanized beasts and like bring them down as a like a four-man unit, even a two-man unit. Like you're you're talking about tribes. Let me build my tribe. Let me build like get some resources or something. Like I, I think that would be awesome, Brandon. I pretty sure it'll probably just be a single player game but i think that would be cool they didn't talk about anything else but i'd like to see that multiplayer tribe taking down giant monsters that sounds fun yeah and, and my my first thought of it is that's probably gonna be pretty basic like the order or something mm -hmm. i hope not it, it kind of i mean just in terms of like you know hey here's gonna be really sweet graphics here's a good premise yeah but we're not gonna give you like a full fledged out game um, but it, it does look like kind of like Shadows of Mordor because you know you're sneaking around in the bushes, yeah. You know, getting material from certain units and then taking down, yeah, you know, these gigantic, uh, whatever, um, transformed robots, but, Transformers, uh, and Skynet. 
It was a it was a nice surprise. I'm, I'm yeah. surprised Gorilla went a different direction like that, and uh, it looks like they're putting some really good effort into it. Yeah, the monsters look cool too. So gotta gotta give them that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, so we talked about they they showed off a new Hitman. We just got a trailer for it. Um, good, cool trailer, cool trailer. It was cool. It, it got me pumped. Yeah. I didn't know I what I was watching. Run out Actually, I did. It, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll go out and run out and buy it, but um, it was a good trailer. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I agree. Um, what else was there? Well, I think you know. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII oh, gosh. HD remake. Yep, you're right. I, so I just thought maybe they were going to just touch on it a little bit. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Like, is it going to be a full-fledged remake, or is it just going to have new CG and then kind of clean up? I, I don't I, I can't believe it's gonna be like all new. Like it's gonna look like the new Final Fantasy game coming out. I think that's a great point. Seven. I think it'll be really, really nice cutscenes. Um cleaning it up a bit. Maybe they'll just use the same models in the battle engine or whatever. Right. So but, maybe they'll clean that up but then Like the core of the game will still be the same. Well see what I'm hoping is the core of the game will be changed. Like the the battle stuff holds up. It was like just the core of the game with like you know everybody had square hands. Oh yeah. And you know I hope that stuff gets cleaned up somehow. I, I'm sure they'll do something. Yeah, that's what I, well that's what I was saying. Like the gameplay but, stays the same, but the 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 fighting animations are the new. I like they'll make it seamless, right? They'll make the CG cutscenes and the gameplay models the same. Right. Right, but my my worry is is you've seen how long the development time is for these other other Final Fantasy games. True, that's what a concern. What the hell are we supposed to? What what the hell are we supposed to think about one of the longest? You know, seven yeah. was a pretty long game. And, yeah. You know, it was like three discs or whatever, tons of hours. God, so much time. Like, I don't know what they're thinking, but hey, just go for it if you're going to do it. Yeah. Um. Oh, so obviously, uh, Street Fighter Five is an exclusive. And uh, they show they announced two new characters, Birdie and Cammy. Right, so game. Birdie and Cammy, it's going to be on PC as well. PC as well, sorry, console exclusive. Um, and you know, I, it looks great. Um, the fighting games for me, I haven't really touched on Street Fighter in a while, uh, yeah. but I did, I did enjoy it. Uh, I'll pick it up. Uh, I mean, I always enjoy those Street Fighters and fighters. See, I've, I've kind of jumped like, like I'll play a Marvel versus Capcom game over yeah. Street Fighter at this point because I'll just wait till they're you know the Street Fighter characters are on a different type of game that I'm more interested in. That's fair. Like Mortal oh. Kombat's been really strong lately. That's fair. So I, I mean I'll, I'll play it, but I'll wait till it's like twenty bucks or something. All right. Like I won't be able to be competitive at it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll quick quickly cover this one. No Man's Sky was shown again. We got gameplay. We saw some destructibility, um, and they teased that a release date is coming soon. That's it. Nothing more to say there, I think. Yeah, Christmas time, 2016. Probably. <laughs> um, Media Molecule released their... I, I, was it a game or is it an experience? I don't know. Um, it's just where people can make videos. Yeah, that's what it seemed like to me, called Dreams. Right. It, so, uh, you know, I'm, when I was watching it, I made the note of, this could be the uh, Pokemon Twitch phenomenon that came on, right? where everyone was playing the game together while watching the stream. You familiar with that? Yeah. yeah. I, I think this is the same idea, because they said anyone can... All the dreams are linked. So uh, I envision that people will be building these dreams together, and they'll be kind of like... Some of them will be coherent and collect... You know, a collective. Or some of them will be just utter chaos. Right. So, yeah, I'm interested to see that. Let's see here. They had some kid-looking Final Fantasy game, World of Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, why in the world are you wasting time on this? And then they're like, because it's exclusive to us. Yeah. Vita, <laughs> Vita, and and uh. Vita and PS4. That's yeah, and right. I'm just like, I just skip, just <laughs> like, whatever. They announced just, it, it was the Square Heads that did it for me. Yeah, it was it was just weird. Um, they had four indie games announced: Ronin. Ether, Mother Russia Bleeds, and uh, Crossing Souls. They'll make their console debut on PS4, so that's something. Let's see here. They talked about Mor Morpheus, and they have a game called Rigs. 
It's a three on three arena fighter type of game. Yeah, that that looked cool. I just I still need to put that thing on my head. Yeah, I need to experience it. My interest on it. So we'll see. Um, they talked about Vu. We don't care about that because it's not in our cities. <laughs> um, so Black Ops Three map packs are coming to PlayStation first now. Okay, so did you see how he was casting spells? It was like cyborg spells. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what was happening in that game. I haven't known what's happening in it that game. It was a really, a time. really bad trailer, or it was, whatever it was. The, it the it was gameplay. Of, yeah, but I didn't know what was happening. All I know it was four-player co-op. And they're getting attacked by robots. And there was it's lots kind of, of robots. And there was lots of like dashing hand. backwards. He was like, wha, wha, wha. <laughs> and then like you were like switching to different players, which was really confusing. And then you were switching to uh, the mechs and like shooting things. I was like, what is happening? Is this no. good? Are people happy with this? I don't know. You guys let us know. <laughs> it did not translate very well. And I really enjoyed uh, the advanced warfare game that came out yeah um but it just looks like they're trying really hard to top it and uh we'll, we'll kind of see how that plays out yeah uh I, my synopsis of that was uh let's see the demo was lots of killing tech and explosions i think it's okay I, hey we got the map packs man map packs. the map packs sony won <laughs> winning <laughs> All right, let's see. They had so they showed the Star Wars Infinity thing. The thing I took from that was Boba Fett's only on PlayStation, or initially. So, kudos, I, uh, kudos for that if you love the Boba. I, I took it as a bathroom, bathroom yeah. trip. Yeah, I, chance I, to go to the bathroom. <laughs> this was a long conference. So they showed. We talked about the Star Wars Battlefront footage, and it looked unreal. How good it was. I. Why would it look better at the Sony conference than it did at their own conference? That's confusing to me. Maybe it's just the environment shows better than the snow stuff did. Maybe. I'm, just, I'm really curious to see the map layouts. Yeah. Because the, the, the snow level looked like all over the place. Yeah, it did. Like it looked like you just walked outside and then everything was just going down like right outside. It looked like a flat terrain. It was like, uh, this is not going to end well. So I'm, I'm very curious. and uh, But yeah, again, seeing... Uh, general akbar yell drop pods pod incoming i just it was good it It was good yeah um yeah so the gameplay looked good i was content with that it looked sick yeah it looked really good Uh, like i said that was one of the games i was interested in looking forward to so i'm glad it 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 showed well and then we had the longest let me tell you the longest pause it was it was good it was gold uncharted there was a little hiccup in the uh, presentation, which is fine. I mean, you're just showing live code. Why not? Um, but Uncharted 4, it looked so, good. It was seamless between cutscene and action. I don't think any of it was a cutscene. Cut well, they were like, well, oh, you were sorry, directed yeah. when, when they yeah. went through the door. Um, that was the first time he's ever drone, drove a vehicle. Yes been a series and you know one of the things i'm excited about is that you know the the console the new console allows it to have a little more room i guess and so the levels might be bigger oh in some yeah sense it, and uh expansive the levels felt big yeah so um yeah before they felt big don't get me wrong i just i think there's gonna be a little more to even it. more they're gonna be even more expansive than before uh yeah it, it looked great it looked like lots of fun. It reminded me of Uncharted. What's crazy is I didn't really realize how much of Uncharted's DNA was in Last of Us until I was watching that trailer. I was like, oh, they did that in The Last of Us. I was like, oh, wait, that came from Uncharted. Exactly, and that's what you got to remember. And the cool thing is is that, like, so all these assets and everything they make from this game is just pretty much the same assets they're going to turn around and use for, like, uh, The Last of Us sequel and stuff. Right, it makes sense. So, like, sense. it's being helped. It, whatever they're doing to make this Uncharted game is helping them make another game in yeah. the future, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it looks great, and I'll keep playing them. I'm just a sucker for for those guys. They're fun, man. They're they're they are fun. I don't know why they haven't translated uh, Nathan Drake into a movie. Like, does not make sense. They they've been trying to. I know they have. It just they need to they need to work on it. So like, I'm not. I was never big. Um, like the adventuring part of Uncharted. You know, like just running around and 
the trying exploring. Trying to find buried treasure and stuff is it's yeah. not a big thing for me, but when it stops and it opens up to all the action, that's yeah. when it really becomes worth it. And I, all the different twists with the like show monsters pieces. and zombies and stuff from the original ones. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, they seem to get you every one, so I'm sure there's going to be something cool with the uh, Uncharted 4 here. Here's the question. Do you think he dies? Uh, I hope so, because I don't think they need to keep making more of these. Well, the name of the I think the name of the uh, the tagline for Uncharted Four, the, the, a thief's end, uh, sums it up. I, he either yeah, needs to be sitting on an island by himself, sipping some mai tais or something, or he needs to die, and it needs to end with his, um, you know, someone giving him a eulogy, or if that's okay. how the whole story is told, is from the eulogy. That would be crazy. Right, and if I had it my way, it would just be him on an island, meets up with Laura Croft, and then they have a baby, and then that baby has a whole new series. And it's exclusive to nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, overall, really good. Um, it's all it stuff. just kind of seems like they threw Morpheus, or whatever it is, to the curb, and I thought they were going to touch on that a lot more. <laughs> Morpheus Maybe got more airtime than Vita. Yeah, it's true. That's true, but Vita's Vita. Yeah. It just lives on by some sort of support when one game comes out on all, every platform. Yeah. They're like, please put it out on Vita, too. I mean, the the Vita is really just... The, the indies are what keeping, it's what's keeping it alive, and Sony's, okay, I think, okay with that. They're just yeah. like, we don't need to promote it anymore. And there's nothing wrong with having something portable like that with, you know, two dual, dual sticks that, like, an iPhone or something doesn't offer you. Right. I agree. So it's nice. Um... The, uh, the XCOM stuff worked really good real quickly. Oh, um, yeah. I had to hop right. over to another stream and check that out. Um, looks like they're adding a lot to it. Um, this time you play the attacking force instead of you know being attacked by the aliens. You play the other way around. Nice. They've added so much detail to it. It's unbelievable awesome. between this and the last game. Very nice. Um, so I'll, I'll try to find a video for that for you guys of the stream that they had. Oh, yeah. Please, um, please do. And then, I don't know if you hopped over to YouTube uh, and checked out the Metal Gear Solid stuff. I did. But that that I trailer that was stuff. all over the place. <laughs> God, that but, trailer uh, was... To no surprise. Insane. I mean, it, it, it gave me chills. The song choice was really good. I, I think it's some, like, 30-year-old song, if I was reading correctly. But it, it embodied what I expect from Metal Gear. Right. So I'm, I'm right. good with it. I, I expect... Here's the here's the struggle though. You realize that that game comes out what only a month before Fallout, and you oh, can no, build. No, it comes out September first. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we're we're good. So we the do thing have. That some worries time. me is you've got Fallout, B- Battlefield, XCOM that's it. Two, then Battlefield, and then Halo. So it's like it's a lot. Four games in the month of November, and most of that time is going to be me want to play Fallout. Yeah, like, I respect the other games. I don't know. I, I'm sure Battlefield will be a mess when it launches. I hope not, man. Server wise, I, yeah, we'll see. Maybe they'll get this one. I mean, right. there'll be a single player component that will be really fun. But it looks like there's not really like a super focus. Like it's more, you know, like not like the Battlefield games have been. Yeah, they It'll said there's like no a campaign. Into a map. Okay. They have said that. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I just, I'm. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot going on in the, this time, and it's even more so reason like for me to be questionable of why do I want an Xbox? You know, it's three hundred bucks, man. Just do it. Uh, is, is your is your gold membership still good? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't <laughs> think I kept it. I don't think I kept it going all this time. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot. It has a lot to but, offer, and I, for the way it's dropping in price and the games that you'll get here soon. Uh, Fable will be fun. Um, we'll see. The cross support with Windows 10 will be interesting. Th- that seems interesting to me. Um, but again, that's kind of even a bigger reason why I'm like, I don't know if I'm sold. If I can play all these games on PC, why go buy the system? I, it, that again, I love the support. I just, uh, am I gonna have time to play it, or is this a really smart $300 investment for me? I'm just trying to. I mean, there's other things I could buy. I could buy better streaming gear. I could buy other recording gear for less than that. And uh, but we'll see, man. I just yeah. I, I'm hoping for a price drop. I, if it can, if you can get me 
an Xbox. Yeah, for like it's already two. been dropping like crazy. Like you can pick one up for three hundred bucks or like two eighty. That's fine. Like it's been it's been dropping. I'll tell you what. Like, what are you expecting? Like two fifty? I'll that's... tell you what. I'll buy I'll buy one for three hundred bucks. But you need to put that elite controller in there. No. <laughs> well, then it's not gonna happen. Like, okay. All right. Well, when Halo Five comes out. I mean, obviously, you're going to be soaked up in a Destiny either way, but that's true. when Halo 5 comes out, Destiny. I think I think it'd really be a good time to pick it up. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I'll probably cave, but I'm going to stand as strong as I can for as long as I can. And, and, you know, and show your, your Sony fanboy colors. It's not even that. Right now, it's, it's the best option to have. I, I don't even think it's a, I'm a Sony fanboy. It's just... I, I, they haven't sold me yet. Like, the yeah, well, we'll, we'll yeah. leave it there. We'll leave yeah. it there. <laughs> I, 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 you got to give me more. All right. All right. Well, I, I think that'll cover it for this um, initial thoughts. Yeah. We got a couple one. more days going day on here, too, so uh, we'll, we'll see see from there. But uh, looking forward to chatting more, and who knows, maybe they'll sell me on an Xbox by the end of the conference. There you go. Uh, tomorrow's Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Um, Square. What else we got? Uh, Square. And then you've got a, some sort of a PC-focused uh, conference. really? Which will be interesting. Lovely. Uh, I didn't know um, that was happening. Yeah. Uh, rumor has it Half-Life 3 confirmed. So, no. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing. Are you kidding me? The, the Holy Trinity? I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. Just think so, about this. Could uh, you imagine if they're like, Half-Life 3 comes out the same day as Fallout? Just, just, just think about that for a moment. We literally got the trinity of games that will never exist: Fallout, The Last Guardian, and Fallout Three. Do you know how crazy people will go? What if they were like Half Life Three? It's on the Steam sale. I think at this now. point, um, people would people would play Fallout before they would play Half Life Three. Interesting. That's just my theory. Well, guys, what do you think about that? Do you think that's true? Or would people stop playing Fallout to play Half-Life 3? There you L go. Let, let us know in the comments below.